welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here today to answer the question, what is four-ply yarn? Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Today we are talking about four-ply yarn. I have five point sheets for you to help you just understand it a little bit better. The complexities of yarn weights can be kind of confusing, so I'm just going to pin it down a bit more for you today. So first of all, before we get going, why don't you subscribe? It will mean that you have a new video in your notifications if you hit the little bell. And every week, every Tuesday, you'll be told and reminded that there's a new video waiting for you from me. Okay then, what is a four-ply yarn? So the first point is that four-ply is a thinner weight yarn. It is half the thickness of DK. We talked about DK yarn in a previous video a couple of months ago, so if you want to, go and have a look at that. But it's also known, four-ply yarn is also known as superfine, it's also known as sock weight yarn, and fingering weight yarn. So there are lots of ways it can be described, but generally it will be called Four ply yarn. Okay, now let's get confused, shall we? The second point is that four ply was was used as a term, and it is, still is sometimes to describe a yarn that is thicker, nearer to the Aran worsted weight yarn. So, if you want to completely confuse yourself, go and look that up and find out more about it. But you generally won't see it anymore. Just be aware that you can use the other points today to just pin down exactly which four-ply weight you're looking at in the yarn shop. Okay, the third point is that four-ply yarn generally has between 150 and 200 metres of yarn on each 50 gram ball. That's an easy way to identify it. It's commonly bought for hand knitting in 50 gram balls. Sometimes you can get it in larger spools of yarn for machine knitting, but if you're in a yarn shop for hand knitting, there will be 150 to 200 meters of yarn on those 50 gram balls. Okay, the fourth point is that four ply yarn you will be knitting with between two millimeter and three millimeter needles. It is so much thinner than the other yarns that you find in the shop that you will need the almost the thinnest needles that you can find. So they're delicate, you will be knitting fine work with them and that's an easy way to identify four ply yarn. And yes, if you're knitting with thin needles and thin yarn, you will be needing to knit more stitches and more rows. So just be aware and be ready for that if you're knitting a four ply pattern. Okay, the fifth point, and I did talk about this in the DK video as well. Just go and have another look, and I will um, give you more information about DK yarn in there. But if you stand there and you count the number of plies in a ball of yarn, in a thread of yarn, you will probably trip yourself up because it's an old scale. You used to be able to count the number of plies, and it would be more predictable about which yarn you were looking at. However, if you unravel a thread of four ply yarn, you are unlikely to find just four plies in it. There may be six, there may be two, there may be one, and it can get very confusing. So don't use that as the single one point when you are trying to identify which yarn you have. There you go. That's that. Four ply yarn is very easy to identify, actually. It's thin, it has all of those points that I've mentioned, and you can generally go to a yarn shop and find out which one you want quite quickly. It will probably be separated from all of the other yarns and it's likely to be within or part of the baby yarn section as well. So it's not that difficult. Just go and see what you can find. Great. Thank you for joining me today. Like I said, do subscribe. Then you will get the videos in your inbox ready and waiting for you. Uh, YouTube will notify you when I put up a new video. I'm here every Tuesday, every week. I'd love to see you with me. Um, I will hopefully see you again next Tuesday. Bye for now. Happy knitting.